secondo lei l'Africa paga un caro prezzo sugli errori delle grandi potenze? We end up with injustice, we end up with corruption, we end up with poverty, we end up with the worst possible things, we end up with the image. I don't have to tell you the image that you have in Africa. I don't have to tell you. Listen, when I was in office as an Air Force pilot, I trained, I went to school and trained in the cities. When I became an Air Force pilot, I had the opportunity to travel around the country. That's when I saw uh, uh, there is a big difference between those of us living in the cities and the mass people who feed us living in the rural areas. My brother, you listen to me carefully. The water they drink in those rural areas is such that the water you use to flush your toilet the water we use to flush our toilet in the cities is much cleaner than the water they drink in the villages. No clinics, no hospitals, etc. No headache, no needles to even sew their clothes. That's when I began to see that the parasitic, the parasitic relationship between our cities and our this thing. I mean, I've seen too much injustice in my country when I decided enough was enough, when some of us began to decide that something has to be done about it. By the, when we emerged into political office, you know something? Electricity used to be limited to only 27% of the country. In the shortest possible time, we were able to, with Italian assistance, we were able to extend electricity from 27 to almost 87% of the rest of the country. We were able to extend roads. The infrastructure was improved every part of the country. I mean, it was beautiful. I mean, the energy now goes to every part of the village. Children can now go to school and can learn at night so that my children living in the city will not have an advantage over that child in the village. My child has no superior, was not born with anything superior than that child in the village. But so long as that child in the village is denied and deprived of electricity to learn at night and, and good water, etc., my child in the city will always have the advantage over the ones in the rural areas. I've been to school where rural students were doing better with the passage of time than those of us in the cities. Please, I know the potential of humanity. So when you're talking about the effects of some of these things, sometimes, you know, these superpowers must, must learn to accommodate and to live and to accept patriotic leadership, patriotic citizens. Too often, too often, they're more, they're happier with people who are not patriots. But you, in, in Europe, excuse me, don't get angry, you never seem to know the role that some of your bad businessmen, you have good businessmen, and I respect them, but some of your bad, bad businessmen are always doing bribe, you know, bad things in my, in, on our continent, and it's our people who suffer. This kind of thing must stop. Your governments must begin to wake up to help us to help us, to help to police and to maintain the integrity of economic policies and economic practices in my country. Your country must help us to protect the judiciary in my country. Your country must help us to, poli to, 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 to police and to monitor and to protect the political integrity in our continent.